Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Today, before dinner, we're going to look at the beautiful adventurer story of Gala Alizan and see how she came to gain the position of Grand Paladin. Did she regain the position of Grand Paladin by a recommendation from Cow Cow himself? Let us find out in the adventurer story. Because honestly, I don't even know why she would suddenly become Grand Paladin when she's supposed to be some kind of heretic for leaving the church. Oh, but please note that this story contains spoilers for Chapter 8. Chapter 8? Now that's interesting. Oh, they don't do that fancy introduction anymore? That's kind of sad. Her face just gets angry. Mm?
人々を守り救い導くそれが聖騎士の使命だからねまあよくおっしゃいますこと破壊の教えを広めておきながら魔人は最悪をもたらした君たちはそう言いたいのだろう歴史家が語るままにしかしそれは潜伏なものの見方我ら使徒が盲信していいものではない我々のイリア様への信仰が潜伏だとああ信慮があるとは言い難い信仰には奥行きが必要だもうすぐ会議が始まる失礼するよどうやら議論にもならないようですわね<笑>よくぞ集まってくれた経験なるイリアの子らよこれより聖気色託戦会を開会するお言葉ですが聖騎士は現在、総員16名のはず。1人足りないようですが。それについて、まず話そう。欠席者は、この会議を招集した筆頭聖騎士。すなわち、聖天騎士ヨルシードに他ならぬ。会議を招集した本人が不在だと。どういうことだどういうことだ他の先月。病に倒れそのまま女神の身元に召された聖天騎士が亡くなった教会が不安定なこの自分によって動員を変更しここに告げる次なる聖天騎士をこの15名の中から選出することとする教皇と枢機卿が出席する信託評議会にて決議される皆心しておくように女神イリアよイリアの子らに祝福を我らの祈りに祝福を大変なことになったなで聖天騎士様が亡くなられたなんて光景がどちらの派閥から出るかで勢力図も変わりますわ。有力候補は自責のオーフェン様とクリフ・パレスで枢機卿代行を務めるサリーマ様か権威はどちらに傾くか成り行き次第ではまた教会が揺れるぞ。競技会にて選ばれし次なる聖天騎士今ここにそのものの名を発表する誰の名が呼ばれるかそれによって教会の未来が変わる次なる聖天騎士は一体次なる聖天騎士は聖騎士エルフィリス OK then Sure, at least, at least, in it.
I can't believe Koltomine and Pope Egbert just made Elizan into Grand Paladin. I could swear it'd be something evil like Cow Cow doing it. But who knows, maybe that Kotomine uh, in his old age might also still be evil. And I mean, I mean this outfit, you know, I, I failed to say this earlier, although you might have seen it in my community post already. That looks awfully like me. If I start sprouting breasts, I would look like Ellie Zan. Sprouting breasts and gaining Super Saiyan, of course, and because then I would be blonde and I would look like that. Anyway, enough brain damage, let us continue. This must be a plot though, I think. Yeah, I thought someone would be unhappy about that. I also like the way she just kind of looks down on you, kind of, kind of face. So it really does look like Lupu, and that's really ridiculous. Looks like me. But yeah, I can't help but feel that um, this is some kind of an enemy plot. <laughs> Let's see how she, the reasoning behind why she became. Grand Paladin.
君が誇らしげに掲げる過去こそがイリア教最大の誤りだったからだそんなはずはない再び祈りを一つにすれば女神イリアは必ず我々を幸福へとお導きくださる<笑>申しつだな魔人をただ忌むべきものと捉えゆえんを考えないその過去の繰り返しでは未来は切り開けない光あふれる未来のために今こそ古き慣習を捨て去り変革すべきだ私たちは分かり合えないのか君たちが考えを変えないのならばどちらかが倒れるまでやり合うほかないのだろうねそんなエルフィリス聖天騎士の地位に溺れるなこれは同期としての忠告だ己の地位を振りかざし行動し続ければ君は命を落とすだろう君を聖天騎士として認めていない者は大勢いる君は偶像だからね偶像何か知っているのかああ教会内の主流は徐々に我々の側に傾きつつあるこの劣勢を覆すため星派はどんな手を使っても身内から聖天騎士を立てようとするだろうできれば人を引きつける存在感のある聖天騎士をそこで君さん私今は亡きイリア峡谷アルベリアその王子と行動を共にし戦をする聖騎士話題性はある加えて若さ精錬さ強さも偶像にはもってこいの逸材だそんな美しい偶像に集う人々我々からすればまやかしに踊らされ哀れで嘆かわしいと思わずにはいられないけどね証拠はありますもそんな作り話証拠も何も彼女の実績で聖天騎士になるなんてどう考えても不自然だ他に適任者だっていたわけだしねとにかく君をよく思わないものは多い死にたくなかったらおとなしくしておくのが賢明だろうね行こうみんなエルフィリスさんその大丈夫ですかああ想像はしていたことだ言われるとでも担がれただけの存在で終わりたくない私にもできることがきっとエルフィリスさん<笑>夢を実現し聖天騎士にまでなったそれなのになぜこんなにも苦しいんだ私は何のために聖騎士になった
強くします強くなりますイリア様に誓って私は無知だった幼く純粋で夢と現実の区別もつかないままひたすらに歩んできた今は踏み出すごとに歪み汚れ足元は揺らぎ目の前には闇しか見えずけれど信じたいのだ幼い日に見た理想の光に幾ばくかの真実はあったと私も光に闇を行く誰かの光に何を失っても Hmm, you know, I could have sworn that this was a flashback to begin with, but <clears throat> based on what those guys were saying earlier, it didn't feel like a flashback anymore. They were talking about how she's working along with the prince, and that, well, it just seems a lot more recent. Than something that is supposed to be happening in the past when she supposedly left the church. Though it could be that she's been assisting the prince even back then, but I, I, I somehow don't think so. Something's really weird about the ordering of this、uh, story here. I have to find out. I mean, we still have three chapters to find out what this whole story is. And that being said, what is up with that Tobias guy? That Tobias guy seemed pr pragmatic enough. I mean, I actually could believe, you know, that he seeks an understanding of why maybe the other isn't so bad. You know, I mean, it's reasonable, reasonable beliefs, even if he doesn't understand the truth of the other. But hey, you know, then all of a sudden, these supposedly pragmatic people, who doesn't quite belong in the church anyway, I don't even know why, when you, there's like, when, <laughs> they, they don't seem like people who go to church, I'll tell you that much. But anyway, those, so, those pragmatic people decide to just randomly attack people, and it just seems like this whole making them obviously evil thing. Let's see why that is so.
暗殺でもする気かなタチの悪い冗談はよしてくれ話を聞かせてほしいんだ保守派の教えを解きたいの間違いではいやこの間は悪かった自分の趣味を押し付けるような真似をして思い返せば私は君たちのことを表向きしか知らない存在そのものを拒絶してきたからだからこの木にきちんと知りたいと思った君たちが何を考え何を目指し何を正義としているか何が目的だ知らなくてはいけないと思った本当にそれだけだ何が正しいか示されていない今異端も何もないそれなら同じイリアの子として否定するばかりでなく理解したいだから頼む教えてほしい君なりに考えたようだねいいだろう我々はリバイバルを望んでいるリバイバルイリア教徒は長きにわたり女神イリアを信じ祈りを捧げ幸福になるため努力をしてきたしかし世界に争いは絶えず安穏は遠のくばかりそれは一体なぜかその記念は一つの可能性へと行き着いた我々は女神イリアを正しく捕らえられていなかったのかもしれないイリア様とは魔人とはひいては神とは世界の断りとは我々はその真実を理解しているか答えはいいな我々は何も分かっていない真実を知り得ないから体制はもろく世界に平穏は訪れないのだならば原点から学び直さねばそして真実を知り正しき信仰を深めイリア教を盤石なものにこれが僕のいや我々の掲げる理想そして正義だそうかそうだったんだなその話を聞いてなんというか希望が見えた気がするよ希望どういうことだ煉獄派は魔人を信仰する者たちの集まりだと思っていた今の世を破壊し新たに創生するそういう過激な思想の集団だとだが一口に煉獄派といってもそんな輩ばかりではなかったんだな君のように真摯にイリア教と向き合いその歩みや未来について考えている人もいるならば分かり合うこともできよう私たちの理想は同じ幸福だであるならば甘いイリア教はすでに変わり始めているここから先は古き宗教観を捨て去る勇気ある者のみが女神イリアを介する資格を持つ古き殻から出られぬものは信仰ごと打ち砕くしかないなぜそうなる互いを理解し接点を探りながらの融和の道だってあるだろう不可能だ古びたマナが頭にこびりついた五郎君どもを啓蒙するなど女神イリアがイリアの子同士の争いを望むと思うのかそこに正しさがあると今は変革の時光あふれる未来のためにある程度の犠牲は致し方ないそれで犠牲になった者の,の未来はどうなる閉ざされた未来はドライツ君の考えは分かった
共感できる部分もある<笑>どうか簡単に割り切らないでほしい皆の幸福を追い求めるのが信仰の理想のはずだ理想は理想その残骸の上で今我々は生きているそれでもだ私たち導く側は諦めてはいけないんだ誰よりも強い意志を持ち皆を導く者それが聖騎士だと私は思う<笑>今日はありがとう話が聞けてよかったよ今まで目を背けていたものをやっと見つめることができた闇の中にも光はあるじゃあまたいつか光ねえ失礼いたします聖騎士トライツ参りましたカーノブスリーも口にできない内密な話とは一体何かありましたか率直に言う聖天騎士エルフィリスを排除するエルフィリスですか、うん、我々の信仰を確立するためにはやむを得まい You know, I don't quite understand. I mean, they just kind of killed off the、uh, previous Grand Paladin. Why are we doing the same thing again? I don't quite understand this whole church. This whole church is a mess. And then we have Bruce Lee over here. He's like, oh, yeah, let's go kill Ellie Zan. Old Bruce Lee. <laughs> Look at that face.、Mm -hmm. You know, that also makes me wonder though. The previous Grand Paladin was supposedly, supposedly a neutral party. So, them kind of like. I, I'm pretty sure Johannes or whoever died painfully. So, I don't know why they suddenly replaced them with Eli Zen, who obviously represent one side. And now we're going to have another shift if this plot is successful. Which, as we know, is not. But you know, this doesn't make sense. It feels like it should be a、um, flashback. It, 
it should be something in the past, and yet, maybe it's just that one statement just not stated properly about the prince and all that. I'm dead. Oh god, now Julieta is dead. Ooh. Oh, I'm being beaten to death. Ooh. Oida! 
Oh! Oh, he didn't die. Well, seems like that pragmatic man came back and is now actually pretty, pretty, pretty pragmatic. I like that. Now I apologize for any like background noises you may hear. Recording on a cell phone has never been a very good thing. And background noises occasionally get into recording. It's an unfortunate thing. But now, let us go and see if they survive. Which they obviously will. But, um... Honestly, I, I don't even know what this is anymore. Is this supposed to be a flashback or what? Because the Imperials don't exist until um, until the other possessed possessed the king, and then Sethia. So I don't even understand the. Just, I don't even understand. Maybe the last chapter will explain everything to us, but probably not.
She seemed almost pleased <laughs> that her rival is now, well, with another guy. But yeah, this isn't a flashback then. I don't, then I don't even understand what's happening because there's no reason why. Why would she suddenly go back to the church after abandoning the church? Was there some? Was it mentioned somewhere? Because I I don't understand what's going on here. Like, why are we suddenly back in the church and everything and becoming grand paladin from the? I don't even know. Well, let's finish this chapter. We'll find out.
A great quote at the end, but man, this story, honestly, it gave me more questions than it does answers. But well, here we are, I'm Godly Guide. Too bad for Tobias, though, he's probably going to get his head chopped off when he gets back. But probably not. We're probably going to see him in a banner in like four days, and I'm going to maybe summon on him. Look, I still have... Nearly 50k more might. And until... Well, I suppose we can talk about that later when Mega Man comes out. Right now, it's time to prepare for dinner. So I'm going to go do that. And we will enjoy ourselves when Mega Man comes out in uh, like uh, 9, 10 hours from now. Alright, I thank you all for watching. Until next time.